What's going on, YouTube? Um, I gotta take care of all the boring shit right now with Ramsey, so tomorrow, when I come to pick the car up, you guys don't have to sit there and watch me do paperwork and, and do all the, uh, the behind the scenes shit that you really don't care about. Hey, hey bud. You ready? It's like I see you every day now. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, are we right now? Yeah, let's go. How are you, Joseph? I'm good, how are you? Thanks, I'm done. I know, I think I'm okay. I hope I'm okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Nice Thanks. to meet you. Nice best. to meet you. Thank, Thank you. And I am now the proud owner of a. <gasps> oh, spiders! Spiders! This has by far been the hardest secret to keep from you guys for the last six months. I ordered this car six months ago and to be completely honest, I kind of forgot exactly what I did to it until it showed up. Call me crazy because I still have the 3RS, but this is by far my favorite car I've ever purchased and I haven't even driven the damn thing yet. But huge fan of the driver's cars. My favorite cars that I've ever owned in order, C6 Z06, GT4, GT4. This is just a GT4 with no roof. And let me clear that up real quick because everyone I tell that I bought a 718 Spider has responded, Joe, why did you get a Cayman convertible? Why wouldn't you get a GT4? The 718 Spider for this generation, this is a GT4. Same engine, transmission, suspension. The only difference between this and a GT4 uh, is about $2,000 MSRP. No wing on the back of this one. Uh, and it's missing a roof. It weighs about 30 pounds less. That's it. This is a GT4. It just doesn't have a top, which makes it so much better. I've never owned a convertible. I don't know what it is about this car, maybe it's the way it looks or the, the interior color or what, but I am like, I, I have a, I already have like a special, I don't know. I, I saw it for the first time four days ago, uh, and since I've seen it, I've been like dying to come pick it up. And finally, it has stopped raining, and I can pick my damn car up. Um, let's take it outside in the sun. I'm going to grab Ramsey, and let's go over why I am so in love with this car and what we did to it. Porsche plug. Right here. Once again, yeah. coming through. Brand new. First off, this car wasn't supposed to exist. Nope. Y'all requested one extra spider for me. Just for you. Just for me. And it and it happened, which is fucking mind blowing. First things first, let's reiterate, this is a GT4. Yes? Yes. Everyone's gonna comment like it's just a boxster. No. No. Right here you see that it says spider. That will the be spoder. convertible. GT4, flat there you six. Go. This is the, I think, what was it called? The classic sport interior? Yes, it is. So we have full red leather, leather everywhere, but full red, red on the seats. I did the seat belts in red. We didn't go PCCBs, but I wanted red brakes anyway, and it kept the price down $9,000, so. It did. It did. It did good. It's a good build. Have we turned it on for him? No. No, it does have OPF filters, so it's not as loud as my last GT4, but. <laughs> It sounds better than I thought it would. It sounds great. Unfortunately, my friends over at AWE don't make an exhaust for this yet, so I'm about to find somebody else. So if you're watching this and you make an exhaust, uh, let me know. Ramsey. Yeah. Okay, okay. Making dreams come true. Uh, huge shout out to Momentum Porsche. This is two of two for me, and I ordered the 992 GT3. And I'm sure every other Porsche, the, every other GT car that's gonna come out in the near future. So. Huge shout out to these guys. Thank you, Ramsey. Thank you, David, Rob, all you guys. This is like a dream come true. Again. And now we get to do this again in six more months. Yep. You ready? Yep. Yep. No, I'm not. <laughs> I need to make some room in the garage. Oh, we can get a bigger garage, right? Not yet. I'm broke. Spend all my money on goddamn cars. Okay, I'm going to go have some fun with this. Yes. I will see you later. I thought I was kidding about the whole 
won't stop raining thing. No, it, it's been raining now for two weeks here. Um, and I bought a convertible. So this is how I'm gonna be forced to end this video because this thing kind of sucks with the top up. Also, my camera gear is not waterproof. And even though it looks sunny right now, it's supposed to start raining here in a minute again. And it's not gonna stop for another week. And I said in the last video, if I didn't post another video by this weekend, you guys should unsubscribe. So I'm not gonna let the rain fook my channel too hard. I don't know why I'm so excited about this car, but I am. I, I not gonna lie to you guys, I took it on an 82 mile round trip drive with my buddy in his A12, another GT3, and my dad drove the GT3 RS. And I didn't even wanna get in the 3 RS. I was more than happy just being in this thing. It is such a kick ass car. So I have here the sticker uh, on this 718 Spider, And I did my best to keep this thing somewhat reasonable. Uh, it really doesn't have too, too much money and options on There's really only like six options I put on this because I wanted a car that I could go beat on and drive and have fun with and take to the gym and take to the store and not worry about too, too much. It's still a very expensive car. I know I sound like a complete dickhead saying it's a cheap car. It's not a cheap car by any means, but it's also not an insanely expensive car to the point that I'm scared to drive it like I am with a 3RS. Base price on the 718 Spider is $97,300. The Spider roof in red, which is down right now, but when the roof's up, it's red. That's a $0 option. The Spider Classic Interior Package is a $2,800 option. And that's what gives us all this, uh, I, I don't know the exact name of it. I think it's like Bo Rower. Don't know how to say it, but the red interior that's in this car, uh, it's almost like a red wine color. LED headlights with the PDL Plus. These are expensive headlights. They look night and day better than what you get if you don't get these. Uh, with these, you get the four running lights that are kind of traditional now to Porsche. We did the Bose surround sound system. Normally I wouldn't put an upgraded audio system in something like a GT car. Uh, however, with the top coming down, Apple CarPlay, which is a $360 option, I have no clue why in 2021 Porsche is making Apple CarPlay an option. They all get the same screen. You just don't get it enabled unless you pay the $360. Full bucket seats is the most expensive option on the car, $6,000. And this gives us these fixed back carbon buckets. Same seats are my 3RS, very similar to the 918 Spider seats. I absolutely love these seats. Uh, you just kind of sink into them, but they're not uncomfortable at all. Wheels painted in satin black to just tie together the whole murdered out look. Instrument dials in the same red color as the interior, which was a $700 option. The seat belts to match in red. Again, the more red I could put in this thing, the better. I kind of wanted to just like make it very color coordinated. That's the entire thing. There was a $1,300 delivery processing and handling fee for a total of $113,190. This is so much car for $113,000. My RS6 was $136, I think, or something like that. So this is $30,000 less, and I have so much more fun driving this. I have a feeling this one will be in the channel for a long time. Like, I know the 3RS is probably gonna say bye-bye when the 992 GT3 comes in. I think this one stays. I don't think this car's going anywhere. And my favorite part about this car, I fit in it. I'm six foot five, and I fit in by far the smallest car that Porsche makes and probably one of the smallest sports cars on the market. This thing is tiny. It is probably similar in size to like a BRZ or a 370. And somehow or another, I fit with a manual. My left leg clears the steering wheel with the clutch, which makes this, I mean, let's face it, probably one of the last manuals in production, but also the only manual that I can comfortably drive and play with and have fun with. So say hello to, I'm not gonna call it my daily. I probably will drive this one a lot, but it's not my daily. I had full intentions of sticking my dog in the passenger seat and just beating the shit out of this thing. And now that I've had it, like I, I can't put the dog in here. I can't ruin this thing. Like I, this is, it's too special of a car. So I got a daily coming. It's not gonna be here for about a month and a half. So we're just gonna rock the Buick until then. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. You guys are gonna have to wait one more video till I show you how it drives. I gotta keep something for you guys later on. Like I got about 10 minutes before it starts raining again. So I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Comment down below what you think of the spec and the newest addition to the Jono's Best Fleet. I mean, do you think it's a better move than having the RS6? I definitely do. I like this a lot more. Also, I got you guys another video by the end of the week, so you gotta hit the subscribe button now. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Later. Literally started raining as I'm pulling out of the garage. I hate it here. I fucking, why do I live in this goddamn shithole? Motherfucker.